Good morning, it's our last day in the Dales today. We're um, currently sat in the station in Cub Car Park. It's 20 to 9 in the morning and it's showing zero degrees on the thermometer. I've got the heaters on full in the cab just to try and defrost the windows because it's a big, quite a thick frost on the thing as you can see, it's all frosty. Um, it seems to be working, I've had the engine going for a few minutes. It's due to be cold and crisp today. We're going to head to Horton in Ribblesdale and do Hull Pot and Penny again, I believe. Before we travel home, a couple of hours, two and a half hours home, something like that. So yeah, it's been a good night's sleep actually. It's dropped to mat. Uh, 4.8 degrees was the lowest we had in the thermometer in the van. Uh, we weren't so bad to be honest, a couple of layers of clothes and a nice good duvet. We was lovely and warm. So yeah, we're just waiting for the van to clear. And we're going to head to Horton and Ribblesdale, hopefully get parked there. And then we can sort of document our video this morning. Not a bad feel to wake up to in the morning. Just started the trail. We've just left the van down in the main car park in Horton and Ribblesdale. We're just going to head up in that direction towards Hull Pot, which is the it's like a waterfall, come like cave system, and then go up and round this way to Penny again, um, which is one of the three peaks. We're going to probably do that and come back the same route, depending on time, because we want to get home at a relatively decent time. But it should take us about three hours, three or four hours all in all to get it done and dusted. So yeah, we're just going to head up that way in the country. It's lovely. It's freezing at the moment, but. <laughs> You can't really see it, but it is definitely <laughs> cold. We're warming up, we're going uphill. Thank you. You're welcome. Man, it's a big girl, isn't it? And the lacquer roof. Not bad at all. Bit of rubbish in here, but it's got a little bit of a Every one of them's looking at me, I feel slightly creeped out. Let's see if you can eat this like a grown up without choking himself. <laughs> <laughs> like a winter wonderland isn't it? Well, minus the snow. Yeah, yeah. We've just uh, reached Hull Pot now, which is as you can see like a big sort of chasm, like a collapsed cave or something in the Yorkshire Dales. Uh, it was only about three or four weeks ago we saw footage of this actually being full up to where we stood now with water. Um, so I estimate it's probably 30 foot, maybe 40 foot deep, but it was actually full of water and over flowing here, so if we do have any images we'll try and put one up here to see that, but it was, uh, you just can't imagine how full that must have been.
Brew with a view. And a cold coffee. Mm, <laughs> no Our guest here. So if anybody's acting, I want an actor. Here's a guest. <laughs> You're a strange yeah. thought. Here he is, we're pen again in the distance. Just at the crossroads, you didn't want to go up, did you? <laughs> reticent, to say the least. What's that mean? I think it's pretty, pretty don't quote me. <laughs> I think it's like unsure of yourself and stuff, so you I think... couldn't be bothered, but I'm blurry, so we'll as well do it, haven't we? That's the way to think, positive attitude. Yes. We'll be back in the concrete jungle soon. Yay! Well, <laughs> we're almost at the summit of Penny again. You can just see up there. We've just done probably a couple of mile walk from Hull Pot. Um, yeah, all uphill, out of breath. And I've actually feel fitter this week than I have done before, <laughs> so I need a lot to work on. Yeah, we're only probably five minutes from the summit now, so yeah, we can have a breather and get back to the van and sleep. Yeah, and no. Home. To be fair, it does feel like we've blasted up there a lot quicker than we usually do, doesn't it? But. Been one hour and thirty six minutes from the van in the middle of the day. Is that from going to all pot as well? I'm including that, yeah. Three and a half miles. That ain't too bad for us, is it, considering we're still building a new year fitness up? Never out of the bed, Yeah. Just approaching now the Sort of the final cairns on the top of Pennygent. So I'd imagine the actual trick summit is probably another minute or so from here. Lee is just kind of plodding up. The views are actually not too bad. Clear day. So excuse me that amount of puff. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting there. So we're nearly there now. I got confused. We <laughs> aren't that close to the summit. I'll flip you around. The summit's right up there. So probably another five to ten minutes. So yeah, I thought my trials was over, but unfortunately not. The final steps up now to the summit of Pennygen. Last 25, 30 steps and we should be there. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. Been a slog for the last five minutes or so, please, steps. Always sap your legs. Um, but yeah, I think we're just sort of maybe make out people just in the distance and that's the actual summit. We got some bit of pen again. <laughs> Should we do it? Mm -hmm. I took some pictures too, so I look awkward. That was a bit of a cheeky little scramble, wasn't it? We're just heading back now to the Hockney Ribblesdale, about 2.2 miles. We've just come down off the summit of Penny Gent, which you can see behind us, and we forgot how much of a scramble it is kind of up or down in our case to the village um, really steep really slippy quite icy as well so it's been a bit difficult today so that's took a little bit of time but hopefully this path what we're going down now is pretty much sort of gravel tarmac pitch stone so it should be a good steady couple of miles now hopefully <laughs> Right, 
Special treatment. <laughs> Thank you. How tight do you want it? That tight. Just that tight? <laughs> that. Yeah. You're a little star, right? Yeah, well. Thank you. Hi, morning. I can't. <laughs> First class service, isn't it? That. Job it. Good you haven't got kids. <laughs> <laughs> Good practice. <laughs> Slip on shoes. <laughs> Right. Thank you. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. now off the trail of the back end of Penn again on this little road which takes us back into Horton and Ribblesdale, the main road, like 10 minute walk up there past the campsite, past the old Penn again cafe to the car park where we've parked up now. So I reckon probably 15, 20 minutes and we'll be back at the van on the way home. Oh. Not happy I don't want to go up. where we stayed when we did the three peaks. That's Home Farm campsite. And then the start of the three peaks and Penn again is just there. That's how close it is. And that's the hard standing pictures at Home Farm campsite. Yeah. We don't <laughs> we don't do much housekeeping. Bed med. Well lack lack of med. Jelly beans. <laughs> 